Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x squared minus 2 raised to power 2. This is equal to x plus 2. What is the value of x? Or what are the values of x? Now let's prevent the solution from here. So we have x squared minus 2 raised to power 2. This is equal to x plus 2. So the first step here is to take x plus 2 on the left hand side. So that here we have x squared minus 2 raised to power 2. Then subtract x plus 2. This is equal to 0. So x squared minus 2 raised to power 2. This is in the form of a minus b squared, which we can express as a squared minus 2ab, then plus b squared. Applying this algebraic identity, from here we have x to power 2, raised to power 2, then plus 2 squared, that is 2 to the power of 2, then subtract 2 times 2, then times x squared, subtract x plus 2, this is equal to zero the next step is that from here we have x raised to the power 2 times 2 this is 4 then plus 2 squared which is equal to 4 then subtract 2 times 2 which is 4 x squared then subtract x from here minus times plus 2 this is minus 2 this is equal to 0 now, let's rearrange this equation such that here we have x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared plus 4 subtract x minus 2. This is equal to 0. So here we have x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared then 4 minus 2. This is plus 2. Then subtract x, this is equal to 0. Now, the next step from here, you find that we can express x to power 4 as x to power 2 times x to power 2. Subtract 4, x to power 2, then minus x, then plus 2, this is equal to 0. x squared is common here, we can factor out x squared so that in the parentheses we have x squared minus 4, close the bracket, then subtract x plus 2. This is equal to 0. Now, x squared minus 4, this we can write, we can essentially write x squared minus 4 as x squared minus 4, which is 2 to the power of 2, close the bracket, then subtract x plus 2, this is equal to 0. The next step is that x squared minus 2 squared, now here we have x squared into the parentheses, x squared minus 2 squared, then subtract x plus 2, we can express here x plus 2 as, now x squared here we have x squared minus 2 squared, subtract, now we can write this as x minus 2, cross the bracket here, this is equal to 0. You see, minus times minus 2 here, this is the same thing as plus 2. So we have x squared minus 2 squared, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b a minus b. Applying this identity, then here we have x squared into the parentheses x plus 2, x minus 2, then subtract x minus 2 from here, close the parentheses, this is equal to 0. The next step from here, you find that x minus 2 and x minus 2 is common, we can factor out x minus 2 
so that in the parentheses we have x squared multiplied by x plus 2 close the bracket here subtract we have 1 then close the bracket this is equal to 0 from here we have two parts the first part is x minus 2 this is equal to 0 the second part here we have x squared multiplied by x plus 2 subtract 1 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have that x1 is equal to 2 now the next part here from the next part here we can expand this and so that we have x squared times x so that we have x to the power of 3 then plus 2 times x squared we have 2 x squared minus 1 this is equal to 0 now we have x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared subtract 1 this is equal to 0 we can express 2x squared this is the same thing as x squared plus x squared let's substitute this so here we have x to the power of 3 plus x squared plus x squared minus 1 this is equal to 0 so we can express x to power 3 this is the same thing as x to power 2 times x then plus x squared then plus x squared subtract 1 this is equal to 0 so you find that x squared is common here so we can factor out x power 2 into the parentheses here we have x plus 1 cross the bracket then plus this is the same thing as x squared subtract we can express this as 1 squared this is equal to 0 now from here we have that x squared minus 1 squared this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. So this implies that from here, we have x squared into the parentheses x plus 1, then plus, now, x squared minus 1 squared, this is the same thing as x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 this is equal to 0 now we have that x plus 1 and x plus 1 is common here so let's factor out x plus 1 so that in the parentheses here we have x squared okay then plus x here we have x minus 1 so we have x minus 1 cross the parentheses here this is equal to 0 so we have two parts again here we have that x plus 1 this is equal to 0 then the second part here is x squared plus x minus 1 this is equal to 0 so this implies that here we have x2 equal to minus 1 this is the second value of x now let's proceed to solve the other values of x in this quadratic equation which is in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation we have a equal to 1 b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 1 so let's substitute a b and c in this case now from here to solve for x3 comma x4 we apply the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac all this divided by 2 times a now let's substitute a 
B and C so that now here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of B squared which is 1 squared minus 4 times A which is 1 times C which is minus 1 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared this is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 this is plus 4 divided by 2 so in this case here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 this is 5 divided by 2 so from here we have that x3 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we have that x4 is equal to now this is minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so in this case this implies that we have four solutions we have four solutions to this algebra problem we have that x1 is equal to is equal to 2 x2 is equal to negative 1 we have that x3 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and we have that x4 is equal to minus 1 subtract square root of 5 over 2 so these are the solutions to this algebra problem so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe country like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye